हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सिग्नल स्पेस रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ क्यूपीएस के सिग्नल सिग्नल स्पेस रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज वेरी इफेक्टिव एंड यूजफुल वे टू एनालाइज द डिजिटली मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल नाउ लेट अस एनालाइज क्यूपीएस के सिग्नल इन क्यूपीएस के सिग्नल depending upon the combination of two successive bits the phase shift occurs in the carrier signal this we understood in our previous lecture when we studied phasor diagram of qpsk signal now let us consider a qpsk signal we can represent the qpsk signal as s of t is equal to s not of t plus s e of t so here s not of t represents the odd sequence and s e of t represents the even sequence we can write this signal s of t is equal to b not of t square root of p s cos 2 pi f not t plus b e of t square root of p s sin 2 pi f not t this is the sequence for odd bit and this is the sequence for even bit now the above expression we can represent it as s not of t is equal to square root of 2 ps cos 2 pi f not t into cos 2 m plus 1 pi by 4 minus root 2 ps sin 2 pi f not t into sin 2 m plus 1 pi by 4 now in this equation we have taken the term 2 m plus 1 pi by 4 because in our previous lecture we understood that each combination of two successive bit will produce a phase shift of pi by 4 so here in this equation m can have the value as 0 1 2 and 3 so if you put m is equal to 0 here so 0 plus 1 1 into pi by 4 it is cos pi by 4 so this is one phase shift for the signal in the same way if you put 1 here it will be 2 plus 1 it is 3 pi by 4 if you put 2 here it will be 4 plus 1 it will be 5 pi by 4 and if you put 3 here so it will be 6 plus 1 so 7 pi by 4 this represents the phase shift of carrier signal when each combination of bits are taken so in the same way we have written it for sine wave now for this equation let us multiply and divide by root 2 divided by ts so here this equation will multiply and divide it by root 2 by ts so the equation will be s of t will be equal to root ps into ts cos 2m plus 1 into pi by 4 into square root of 2 by ts cos 2 pi f not t minus root ps ts sin 2m plus 1 pi by 4 square root of 2 by ts sin 2 pi f not t if we divide the root 2 ps by root 2 by ts so these two will cancel out you will get square root of ps into ts so this is what we have written here along with this we are multiplying this term so we have written here and multiplication of root 2 by ts with cos 2 pi f not t so in the same way we have written it for a sine wave so here uh, in both the equations we have written negative sign here 
So in the previous equation, it was positive sign. In both the equations, we have written negative sign because if you remember the phasor diagram, if you remember the phasor diagram, here we had cos and here it, it was minus sign and in between we had a point which represented plus cos and minus sign. So this point will represent plus cos minus sign. So which is nothing but 1 comma minus 1. So minus 1 is 0. So 1 is represented as 1. 1 comma 0 is the bit. So to represent this point, we are taking this equation where cos is positive and sign is negative. That's why in both the equations, we are having the negative sign. Now let us take this term as phi 1 of t. So we'll take root 2 by t as cos 2 pi f naught t as phi 1 of t and this term as phi 2 of t. So which is root 2 by t as sin 2 pi f naught t as phi 2 of t. Along with this, let us take b naught of t as root 2 cos 2m plus 1 pi by 4 and b even of t is equal to minus root 2 sin 2m plus 1 into pi by 4. So let us take this as phi 1 and phi 2 and let us take b naught and b even of t and let us substitute in the above equation. We can write the above equation as s of t is equal to root ps into ts into 1 by root 2 b naught of t phi 1 of t plus root ps into ts into 1 by root 2 b even of t phi 2 of t. From the above expression cos 2m plus 1 pi by 4 we have written it as 1 by root 2 b naught of t. So this term we have written it as 1 by root 2 b naught of t. So in the same way we have written it for sine wave. So it will be minus sine 2m plus 1 pi by 4 will be equal to 1 by root 2 b e 1 of t. We know the symbol duration t s is equal to 2 t b. Therefore from this we can write t b is equal to T s by 2. So instead of root T s by root 2, we can write it as T b in the same way here root T s by root 2, we can write it as T b. So we can write s of t is equal to root P s into T b b naught of t phi 1 of t plus root P s into T b b e 1 of t phi 2 of t. Since bit energy E b is equal to P s into T b, we can write the above equation as s of t is equal to root E b b naught of t phi 1 of t plus root E b b e 1 of t into phi 2 of t. This expression gives the signal space representation of QPSK signal. Now let us draw the signal space representation. Let us take the y axis as well as x axis. So in x axis we can write phi 1 of t. So here it will be minus phi 2 of t. So here it will be minus phi 1 of t and here it will be phi 2 of t. Here phi 1 and phi 2 are orthogonal signals. That's why if you take in x axis as phi 1 of t, in y axis you can write it as minus phi 2 of t. Again here if you add 90 degree it will be minus phi 1 of t. Again if you add 90 degree it will be phi 2 of t. So in between we can write a point here and we can represent this point as even bit will be minus 1 and odd bit will be plus 1. In between these two, 
both e1 bit and odd bit will be equal to minus 1 so because both are negative here we can write a point and we can represent e1 bit is equal to 1 and odd bit is equal to minus 1 and uh, here we can write a point and we can represent this point as e1 bit is equal to odd bit will be equal to 1 so here uh, angle between each signal will be in the spacing of pi by 4 we need to find the distance of this signal point so distance of signal point from origin can be given as square root of ps tb plus ps tb so this will be equal to square root of 2 ps tb that is equal to square root of ps ts because 2 tb is equal to ts so square root of ps ts we can write that as square root of es this is the distance of the signal point from the origin for each signal point the distance will be root es so the distance is root es from the origin for each signal point this is about the signal space representation of QPSK signal. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.